Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we shall discuss important questions for the semester fifth subject Java. So first we shall see uh, how long questions will be asked and uh, how to attempt that long questions, uh, long answers. So first, first we shall uh, first if you see in a un unit one, so Java features is the most important question so which will be asked frequently so there are 12 different types of features so which which will be asked apart from the 12 if you write a 8 also they will be giving a good marks so so this will be called a long answer so now one more long answer so that is called data types so this data type we can frequently observe from all languages like c c++ okay. so in all languages we find uh, data types so there are uh, different data types in the da uh, data types if you write a uh, just a data type range and a size so enough so you can get a uh, good marks so now one more thing structure of java this question is not uh, not at all asked but if you see all the structures, mostly all the structures will be having the same structure of programming languages like C, C++ and Java. So you can able to write once if you go through once, so you can able to attend. So this apart from this, one more thing is typecasting. So typecasting will be asked in long answer that two sub long answers will be there so if if we get a two questions in a long answer like a b or part uh, uh, sub questions will be there eight marks eight marks so in that in that situations we will be asking type casting so one more part b will be there every unit will be having part a and part b two questions will be there so one more thing one more uh, long answer is conditional statements so loops so these two are long questions so in that they will be asking only one thing one question that is either conditional statement or loops so in the conditional statements we can observe if if else okay nested if else all these will be there so if you go with the loops there will be having two different types of loops one is for one more is while or one another one is do while so if you write just a uh, definition syntax and one example so that's it so uh, there is uh, one more thing flowchart so th that is depend upon you so if you write a just a sin definition syntax and example you will be getting good full marks so as we are having a oops concept so they will be asking the definitions for class object and how we declare a class so what is class so what is object so what is uh, how we create an object how we declare a class okay so all this will be considered as an oops concept so these concepts will be asked only in the short questions okay very important why because we are completely new to classes and objects concepts so they will be asking definitely in a short questions what is the definition of a class and what is the definition of object and how we are going to create an object okay so that's it about a short questions and long questions in the first unit so now we shall see important questions in unit 2 okay. so in this unit 2 so if you see most important question is method overloading okay so every time in every programming language every time so we they will be asking method overloading how overloading concepts are overcome in a programming language okay so this is method overloading now so one more new concept that is constructors so in a c++ we already overcome oh, we already familiar with the constructors so same constructor here parameterized constructor will be there constructor overloading so they will be asking define constructor so in that constructor either default constructor or empty constructor or parameterized constructor so one type of question of asking one more thing is so what is constructor overloading define constructor and explain constructor overloading okay so how we overload a constructor so these two types will be asked in a examination so this will be considered as a long question so now 
so if you see short questions so they might be asking about methods okay so there are two different types of methods in a java that is static keywords will be there and uh, this keyword so these two will be asked separate separate not both at a time either they might ask a static keyword or else this keyword so what is the purpose of using static keyword and uh, define uh, this keyword with an example so you just you have to write out uh, what is this keyword and what is static keyword then a small example for this this and this keyword and for static keyword so next if you consider one more long answer so the similar concepts which we come with the first sem onwards like in a c language in c++ we are having arrays okay so in this arrays so the definition will be asked in a short question okay not every time but by by lucky chance we will they will be asking what is array define an array types of array so otherwise if they ask in a long question so they will be asking types of arrays okay that too for only for 8 marks or 10 marks okay so one dimensional array there will be uh, one dimensional array and a two dimensional array so this two will be asked for long questions either it it, it might be for 8 marks questions or 10 marks question not for 16 marks or 20 marks questions okay so next so if you see part b section okay so till now it is for part a one more thing one more th part will be there part b so in the part b inheritance so this is already present in a c++ so what is inheritance types of inheritance there are five different types of inheritance okay so what is the definition of inheritance so types and their explanation so so sometimes they will be asking explain multiple inheritance with an example only one type they will be asking or else so majorly mostly they will be asking what is inheritance define types of inheritance with an example okay so all five types so five diagrams and five, any one program okay that's your wish so you will be getting good marks if you write like this so next if you see Uh, some uh, short questions there will be like final keyword abstract class so this abstract class is very important every time they will be asking in a short question okay so what is abstract class and what is the difference uh, difference between abstract class and a normal class okay so next uh, one more long answer is interface interface is a new concept which is present in a uh, oops so from now onwards interface onwards the complete programming has been changed so oops concepts are present so till now we are using oops concept with the previous features of a c++ language from now onwards we overcome the drawbacks of a c++ with a new concepts which are present in a java that is interface okay so they might be asking definitions for short questions so in the short questions they will be asking definition and a concept in a long question so next to one more thing is package so this package here in the package so there will be uh, step by step of a uh, creation of packages will be there so first to package definition so next to creation of package next to how to use a package next to access of packages okay so in the package we are having how to create a package so when after creation of package how to use the, i mean defining a package in a program so that will be there so after this access of package how we are going to give access from one program to another program or one class to another class so this is this, this is about complete package okay so if you write one program so uh, that is very much uh, useful okay so you will be getting 100 uh, full marks in a uh, packages so just writing one program and defining a package that's it so next one more thing important concept is wrapper class so more, this will be asked very frequently in all the question papers every time they will be asking what is wrapper class okay so there are some classes why because a uh, oops concept is completely based upon object oriented so everything whatever the data or whatever the variables which are present in a uh programming language should be converted into classes so this wrapper class will convert your data into classes okay so there are five different types of wrapper class will be there if you write this the table it's enough so you'll be getting a full <coughs> short question uh, sh short answers so next 
one more uh, one more concept which is similar to C++ that is string buffer. Okay. So if you are not familiar with the string buffer, no need to study this string buffer. You just concentrate on the all the topics which I have said in a second unit. <coughs> so now we shall see third unit important questions. Exceptions will be there. Okay. So exceptions. So this is com this is completely new concept which is already present in a C++. So exceptions. So what is exception? How exceptions will be occurred? And types of exceptions. How to handle? <coughs> how to handle exception? Okay. So handling ex exception is a long question. Okay. This handling there will be five types of exceptions. The five types of handling exception. Try, catch. Okay. Throw. Final. Finally. So this all present. So the techniques which are present in exception handling will be asked in a long question. So the definition will be asked in a short question. Okay. So next, apart from this exception, one more new concept is threads. Okay, multi-threading we call. So in this thread, so creation of thread, how we create a thread. So that that will be asked in a uh, short question. The definition will be asked in short question. Next. So if you go with the thread life cycle, that will be asked in only long answer, okay? the life cycle of a thread. So how we define a thread, so what are the stages which are present in a stage. So there are some stages, five stages will be there, new, dead stage, runnable stage, running stage, hiding stage. Okay. So these are all present in a thread life cycle. <coughs> so next to part B, so if you go with the part B. And there is one only one concept which is present in a part B that is input output streams. Okay, so this input output streams is nothing but a package. So in this package, definitely we'll be getting a long answer. So what is file input stream and what is file output stream? So these two considered as a long answer. So definitely you'll be getting apart uh, uh, apart from these two, you'll be getting only one that is either input stream or else output stream. Okay. So apart from this file input output, one more import, important concept is buffer input and buffer output stream. Okay. So in this buffered input and this is buffered output, we are having different different of methods. So there are uh, more than 15 methods. So in that if you write only just 8 or 5, you will be getting full marks. Okay. So in this uh, part B, you have to learn file input stream, file output stream or else buffer input stream, buffer output stream. So these two questions are considered as a long answer. So next we go with the last unit that is fourth unit. So in this fourth unit there are majorly three concepts. So completely new concept. So that is applet. So this applet is considered as a windows applications. I mean so this unit is completely GUI based graphical user interface till now we never used graphics in a programming language now we are going to use graphics okay so that's why it is considered as a new uh, technology in a java so in that applet so defining an applet will be asked in a, a definition of applet will be asked in short question so definitely they will be asking a uh, define applet or what is applet okay so in that applet we are having most important thing is life cycle and applet so in a programming language we are having two life cycles so one is thread life cycle one more is uh, applet life cycle so you have to be confident i mean so we, we should not get confused which life cycle and which method where we are writing okay so there will be different different method in a thread life cycle and applet life cycle so having both are having five stages okay? but methods will be completely different okay so this applet life cycle is considered as a long question so generally they will be asking in a long question itself so apart from this applet, applet one more concept is events okay so this is event handling so events are nothing but <coughs> the actions which are performed in the computer okay all these events okay so here in this event we are having awt event abstract window toolkit we call so in this abstract window toolkits we are having components in these components 
buttons labels check box are most important okay so buttons are nothing but so all buttons will be there in a system if you open a window so submit button open button close okay so whatever the buttons we sh we, we see in a system okay those are buttons how buttons are uh, developed so what is the concept what is the constructor so what is the method used in a background of a button label check boxes okay so these three are used uh, will be asked only in a long questions okay so buttons labels check boxes so if you want to study a fifth fourth unit then you go to, you prepare only for buttons labels and check boxes okay so applet life cycle is one thing and applet definition and a long question is buttons labels and check boxes that's it so why because in this buttons labels and check boxes the action listeners will be same okay the constructors and action listeners are same so only the programming style or the keywords are completely different so just in place of buttons we will be writing labels so in place of labels we will be writing check boxes okay so if you go with the radio buttons and the container classes so that is completely different so most probably they will be asking only buttons labels and check boxes so at last so this is an optional topic in a java so that depends upon you if you read or if you doesn't read no matter the swings just introduction part is kept in a swings so in that swings so only they will be asking difference between swing and awt okay what is the difference between swing and what is the difference between awt okay so so this will be asked in a short question differences so next in the long questions they will be asking frames and j applets okay so java frames and java applets so i suggest you to concentrate on applets and awt that's it don't go with the swings okay so mostly they will be asking all these topics which i have said in a fourth unit so swings so there will be an optional uh, questions will be there so in this part a they will be asking applet life cycle and uh, already you people will be con concentrating on uh, buttons labels and check boxes so uh, apart from these three one will be asked so you better to skip this swings so that's it with the uh, fifth sem java important questions i hope you you people are understood so go through write well go, get good marks all the best thank you